everybody and thank you for tuning in to the Junior Golf Network. I'm your host, Sarah Davis. This weekend we were at the world famous PGA National Golf Club covering HJGT's Summer Junior Open. We have tons of tournament coverage. We sat down with one of Florida's best rules officials and asked the players which pro they look up to. Let's take a look. The Junior Golf Network covered HJGT's Summer Junior Open at the famous PGA National Golf Course. With a five-way tie for second, a two-hour rain delay, and two playoff matches, there was a ton of excitement out on the course. Let's get started. In the 16-18 Tiger Woods division, the division with the five-way second place tie, Jonathan Morin from Miami, Florida swept the field, beating the other players by 13 strokes. Morin shot 68-72 and on day one made an impressive six birdies and one double. His plans to celebrate speak to his success. Uh, I mean, I'll leave tomorrow <laughs> for another tournament, so just I got some work to do on a few things, but just go home, relax. <laughs> the five-way tie for second was split between Sean Cook from Norcross, Georgia, Bennett Stone from West Palm Beach, Florida, Sebastian Thrain from Jupiter, Florida, Young Chen Lee from Bradenton, Florida, and Carl Williams from Crestwood, Kentucky. All five contestants finished nine over with a total of 153. In the 14 to 15 Will Smith division, Braden Gennard from Wellington, Florida went head to head against Stefan Daly in a playoff to win the division. Having one hole to go after the rain delay, Gennard made a birdie to take the victory. Gennard shared with us how he stayed calm going into the playoff match. Um, I just took deep breaths and prayed and just made sure that just tried not to shake or do anything bad. <laughs> Both players finished nine over par. Daly finished 78-75 and Gennard finished 74-79. Finishing third was Alexander Roland from Nassau, Bahamas, who finished with a two-day total of 159. Roland is 14 years old with a scoring average of 83.75. In the 11-13 Ernie Els division, Philip Dunham from Ponte Vedra Beach, Florida finished four under. Dunham shot one over on day one and bounced back with a low 67 to finish the tournament four under par. Dunham is only 12 years old and has an impressive scoring average of 69.2. He shared with us the secret to all of his birdies, making it sound so simple. It's a little shorter course, so get the driver in the fairway, have a little wedge in, tuck it inside 10 feet and make the putt. Mateo Desmond from Pompano Beach, Florida was the runner-up, finishing two over par after shooting back-to-back -back 73s. Desmond made six birdies all weekend and at the age 13 has a solid 73.5 scoring average. Finishing third was Ethan Hoffman from Hungberg, Germany, finishing eight over par. Hoffman has been with HJGT since May and has eight top 10 finishes. He is currently ranked second in his division. Switching gears into the girls' divisions. With a two-hole playoff match for first place in the Justin Timberlake division between Noel Jensen from Boca Raton, Florida and Caitlin Washburn from Situate, Massachusetts. Washburn won the division after draining a five-foot putt. She is 19 years old and has committed to the University of North Florida. Uh, my strength today was I just fought the entire day. I knew it was going to be close coming down the stretch, so I just kept in it the entire time and hoped to keep it all the way. Noel Jensen from Boca Raton was the runner-up. Jensen played consistent all weekend, finishing day one three over par and day two six over par for a total of 153. Gabriela de Gasparis from Jupiter, Florida took third, shooting a 76-80 for a total of 156. In the U13 Justin Rose girls division, Angela Jung from Miami, Florida won by six strokes. Jung shot 75-79, finishing 10 over par. She shared with us why she loves golf. I love how I can interact with friends. I love, like, I don't know, I just love it. <laughs> Jolie Pastrick from Sarasota, Florida was the runner-up, finishing with back-to-back -back 80s for a two-day total of 160. At the age 11, Pastrick has an impressive scoring average of 80. Finishing third was Cameron Canal from Boca Raton, Florida, shooting 84-83 for a total of 167. Everybody has somebody that they idolize or want to be like. 
Let's see some of the people that the players look up to. Roy McIlroy hits it far, big guy, an athlete. Probably Lexi Thompson because she hits it so far. Justin Thomas and because he hits it really far. Um, my favorite pro is Lexi Thompson because every time she's faced with something I feel like she handles it with class and I really look up to that. I also look up to her uh, hard work and dedication that she has on and off the course. Uh, Bryson DeChambeau because he he changed he has changed the game basically. Jordan Spieth, his putting was amazing and I always saw him when I was younger and he would hit it so far I was like I want to hit like him. Uh, I look up to Lexi Thompson because she's local, she's a great player, uh, and I feel a lot of things in my game are very similar to hers. Jonas Blixt because he's Swedish just like me. Ricky Fowler because I like his attitude. No. No way. Hot dog. Uh, Adidas. Titleist. Dogs. Drain a long birdie putt. Pie. Driver. Ninja. Do you find it difficult to keep track of your golf tees, divot tool, and your groove cleaner for your clubs? Wouldn't it be nice if they were all in the same spot? Hi, I'm Keenan Street Matter. And I'm Carly Green. And you're in luck. With the Divi Tee, you get all three in one. Not only that, but this tool is designed to help your drives go further and straighter. Free up your pocket space and get the Divi Tee today. This is HAGT approved. Steve Jones, one of Florida's best rules officials, shared with us some pretty interesting stories. Let's take a look. Steve Jones from Lakeland, Florida, is one of Florida's best rules officials. He has worked with HJGT for over 13 years and shared with us how it all started. Well, I do not only junior golf, but I do other events as well. But junior golf is where I started many years ago with the FSGA. And it was to assist my younger son, who's 33 at this point. Uh, he was into junior golf, so I actually wanted to help him with the rules. And one thing led to another, and I sold my business, and I do this almost full time now. Jones has made a lot of interesting rulings. However, the craziest one happened just a few weeks ago. A couple kids on the putting green, equal distance from the hole. They couldn't see the level of the green when they hit up. So they both went up and marked their ball. They put it out, went to the next tee, teed off, and on the next green, when they marked their ball, they noticed, this is not my ball which would normally be a wrong ball, except on the green previous, they had picked up a ball, and now they've substituted a ball, which is still a two-stroke penalty, but they didn't get disqualified. Not only does he work junior events, he also works professional events, meeting some pretty awesome players along the way. Well, as you know, in the golf course, you never know who you're gonna meet, and I was doing a championship at a uh, high school championship some years ago, and I always go up to the player and make sure I know how to pronounce their last names. So I'll go up to this player and said, I know how to pronounce your first name. I don't pronounce your last name. Kepka. So you never know who you're going to meet on the golf course. Jones has also been selected to officiate HJGT's national championship this upcoming December. If you could pick any professional golfer to play 1v1, who would you choose? Let's see what some of the junior golfers said. Tiger Woods. I feel like I could learn a lot from him. Smiley Kaufman, just to see if I could beat him. Uh, 1v1, I'd definitely love to play Tiger, Tiger Woods. And probably because of his demeanor, seeing the way he carries himself, and just trying to replicate that, I'd say. Uh, Tiger Woods, I mean, I feel like I'd learn a lot from him. Definitely Jordan Spieth, just to learn his putting and his chipping. He, his short game is amazing. Uh, Jordan Spieth, um, to see he, him sink putts. Justin Rose, because I'd win. That's the only reason I'd, that's the only reason I'd play, because I'd win. We sat down with last year's 14 to 18 division champion, Gabrielle Mead, to hear about the journey that she went on to finish first. Let's take a look. Gabriella Mead from Miami, Florida was the Hurricane Junior Golf Tours 2019 Player of the Year for the 14-18 Justin Timberlake Division. 
Mead finished top 10 in 29 out of 36 tournaments. At the age 16, with a ton of hard work and dedication, she won the division with 21,000 points. Um, I usually practice about five to six days a week, and I practice for three to four hours. She had a few specific reasons why she plays with HJGT over all other junior tours. Well, I like how convenient they are for me. There's many tournaments throughout the year, and there's a lot of tournaments that happen to be close by me, but also it's allowed me to play nearby other coaches and by my grandfather who lives in New Jersey. Although she has been extremely successful on junior tours, this is not the end goal for me. After I graduate high school, I hope to play college golf. If I could play 1v1 with any pro, it would be Ricky Fowler, because I feel like he'd be very fun to play with. Golf is a game that sometimes all you can do is laugh. Let's take a look at some funny moments. My funniest golf moment is when I first started. My sister and I were both pretty bad, and I got to watch her hit her driver and have it go backwards off the tee, because she whiffed and then went like this, and it just went back. Almost making a hole in one, then lipping out the birdie putt. That was funny. When I was three years old, I had a bunny golf tournament. My dad told me not to hit the sand on a practice swing. Then right after he did it, of course, I hit another, hit the sand in the practice swing a couple more times just to stick it to him. Um, I was riding in a golf cart with my dad, and then he decided to do like a 360 with it, and I flew out sideways. Um, it wasn't very fun, um, but at, like looking back on it, it was really funny. <laughs> so. My funny story or funny golf moment was I was playing golf and I hit my tee shot onto the par three and all of a sudden as I'm going up there a bird flew on the green, was walking around, picked my ball up and flew away with it. Luckily it didn't go like into the water or woods or anything, it went over in the rough but uh, I thought that was pretty funny. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Junior Golf Network. If you can't get enough, be sure to follow us on all social media platforms at Junior Golf Network. I'm your host, Sarah Davis. We'll see you next week. The Junior Golf Network is coming to the Mid-Season Invitational presented by Bag Boy. Rated number one in the U.S. among the world's 50 best golf hotels. The only resort in the world to achieve four Forbes five-star ratings 12 years in a row. With over 180 players playing in this event, there's no better place for golfers of all levels to showcase their talent. Are you ready? We'll see you there. Salut, je suis Ethan Hoffman et merci de voir le Junior Golf Network. Hey, you're Robert Brenius, Octag for Tita for Golf Network. Hello, saya Rafli Sati. Terima kasih sudah menonton Junior Golf Network. Gracias, soy Juan Felipe Suarez y me gusta mucho el torneo. Muchas gracias.